what's going on pisces send you guys the utmost love and light i uh, thank you for being patient with me i have a child that is in crisis mode so i do apologize for being away but i have to take care of family first anyway um if you have uh like share or subscribe to my channel i appreciate you if you have not subscribed please do so that you know when i'm here with new content um also if the reading resonates can you hit me with the like that would be greatly appreciated um i'm gonna check on who is coming at you we're looking at singles right now so singles pisces um we're looking at who may be coming towards you. I feel like intuitively you guys know, though, you know, your guides may be telling you who's coming towards you based on some work that you guys have been doing on yourselves. But we're going to tap in. Mm -hmm. All right. So first off, what spirit is giving me here? All right, is that, you know, you guys may have been hearing about the collective readings from, you know, um, the family, I'll say, of tarot readers out here. Um, and we basically are coming up with the same types of energies, some of us. Um, for the most part, you have uh, a person that... Uh, they know that they did you dirty, okay? This is a personal, so look, I have two different people coming towards you. First off, I want to go with the old, all right? So the old person here, this return, belonging, guide, and light, this person felt like you were always the one that came back. You were always the one that jump-started the communication, that reached out to them. Uh, maybe they didn't apologize to you first, so you would always start the communication lines and make him talk back to you, that type of energy. You would do things to make sure that this person would um, have conversations with you so that you can get on a better footing with them, even when it was them that did some, some messed up mess to you, okay? I don't know wh what type of Pisces or who I am speaking to right now, but I feel like you guys are peacemakers. I feel like you didn't want people to be angry with you or you didn't want things to go over the way that they were going. But with this person, even though they did you dirty, I feel like... You did everything in your power to to jumpstart everything and to get the communication rolling with this person. So now that's that person. So some of you are going to feel a little bit of depression because this person actually came up in this reading because you've been trying to shake them for some time. And you're like, Renee, no, I don't want that person. I don't want to even hear about that person. I understand. But I have to give you guys what's here because Spirit has given it to me. Now, this other person that's coming through, this is somebody new. This person is going through some things right now that they had to balance out their life. They were dealing with someone that was very karmic. They have gotten away from this person. And it's going to take this person just a little while to get their bearings. Um, this person may have had three people around them that were doing them harm mentally, physically, emotionally, or spiritually. This person has been manifesting for someone like you, Pisces, to come into their life to give them some other type of um, interaction. Okay. This person, I feel like they have only been used to a certain type of energy from people. And when they meet you, um, and they get a whiff of your energy, it's going to be something that, um, and not only enlightening to them, it's going to be refreshing. Uh, they're going to want to get to know you better. They're going to want to hang out with you and spend time with you as well. So this person coming in is manifesting you. And I feel like you have also been manifesting this person. So good karma is coming towards you, Pisces. Okay. If you guys also have three people around you that may have been trying to hinder you, could be a boss, could be a family member or a friend, um, could be someone else that you are in um, some sort of uh, relationship or situationship. And it can absolutely be this person. Well, one of the people can be this person that's trying to come back in to corrupt your energy. Okay. To get you to come back to them. This person is a little smug, I have to say. Okay. With this, with this uh, spirit of the lighthouse energy, the lighthouse has a purpose of guiding the ships in. So this person feels like they look good, they smell good, you know, everybody wants them, you know, 
their sex is good too so it's just a matter of time so that they can just call you back in or reel you back into whatever you guys were in but i feel like you're over it I'm not sure that you guys can see this card but let me put it here but i feel like you guys are over it okay um you're not trying to hear it at all and rightfully so right because this person let me arrange the camera a little bit better than this right because this person feels like they got you they feel like you know you're going to be the one that always comes back or you're going to be the one bottom of the deck as i'm shuffling that always wants to have some sort of re reconciliation but i feel like you guys are saying not this time and this is going to blow this person's mind because they're, they're not used to you moving in the way that you've been moving, Pisces. All right, so let's get to this. Okay. Yep, this is a person that was moving independently. They may have told you that they was traveling, could have been traveling for work or could have been traveling with friends. But however, they were telling you, um, oh, somebody, somebody's uh, person said that they were traveling for a wedding. Spirit just gave me, but this is a person that was moving like they were, thank you for this. This is what I was saying. This is a person that was moving like they were not in any type of relationship or situationship with you, Pisces, okay? So that karmic energy that I was feeling is coming through, okay? Um, also, this is this person over here that wants you to come back towards them is also the karmic, but I feel like the person coming towards you um, is dealing with their own karmic energy that they've just gotten through, okay? Or they're going through this now with this three people or three um, situations in their life, okay? Where they're needing to manifest, right? So look, going right into the old, we're going to stop, I mean, right into the new, we're going to stop talking about the old. Now, when this person, this new person comes towards you, you're going to see them as the opportunity that they are, okay? It's going to be a minute because, like I said, they're going through something and they have to get to the point where their self-esteem is good, right? So they're feeling good about themselves, feeling good about their energy. Um, and also, as this is going on, you're going to be dealing with your trust issues, you're looking at people sideways, upside down, backwards, and et cetera, right? Like, yeah, you're interested in me, but what can you give me? You're interested in me, but why? You're interested in me, you know, I don't need to be going through anything that um, would hinder my progress or my process going forward. So you're looking at people like you should with discernment and making sure that it makes sense for you to even deal with them, which is what you should be doing, Pisces. So you're doing the absolute best that you can for yourself right now, right? But sometimes um, we got to be careful because we may be looking at people in, in such a critical view um, that we hinder what is good about them and we may miss it because we just don't want to uh, mess up again, okay? Like we don't want to choose incorrectly. So just be careful to not be self-sabotaging yourself a bit, okay? Now, in the past, you had people that was coming in that wanted just intimacy, okay? Those are the karmic people that was in your life. They only wanted intimacy with you. Or they didn't want to push things past the envelope. Now, when those trust issues happen with this new per person that's coming for you, initially, okay, you're going to say, does this person only want this too? So things are going to be like a deja vu moment Spirit is giving me, but you want to just give it some more time. Don't jump to conclusions, right? Because that's going to be you and I can't do it optimism, right? Yeah, I can give this person a chance. No, I don't want to give this person a chance, etc. So I just wanting you to stay mellow. Now for you, music makes you mellow, okay? Um, you also may meet someone that's a musician. You may also be a musician, uh, taking how it resonates. But I feel like <clears throat> instead of jumping to conclusions, because you can be abrupt, Pisces. Like, right, when you get something in your mind, you, like, move on it. So Spirit is saying, if you're feeling something or you're thinking something, you just want to sit with yourself for a while. Don't make a movement. Go sit down, relax, listen to some music, get yourself together, and then move accordingly, okay? And what you're going to see is that this new person is coming in is uh, very lovable. They have um, all the attributes of someone 
that you would like to be with or spend time with. Um, I feel like this person is going to be very handsome or beautiful to you. I feel like they're going to be able to check all the boxes that you have as well. And you guys know what those uh, check marks are, right? The things that you're calling into your life, I feel like they're going to um, have those things. Not only that, I feel like this person enjoys staring at you. So you guys may have staring, uh, staring contests. I used to do that when I was younger, right? You guys, you guys may have staring contests to see who, who cracks first. Um, but I feel like it's very sensual, the way that you guys look at each other or the way that this person looks at you. And maybe something with your eyes. You may have colored eyes or they may have colored eyes um, to where you guys um, never tire of looking or gazing into each other's eyes. You know, something is here of this nature, okay? Now, this is what this person is dealing with right now. They have someone in their life that's very nostalgic about them, right? Someone in their past, they're cutting their ties from this person. This person has good karma coming towards them. Like I said, they're doing their best to have balance now, which means that they needed to cut this person loose. Um, and those people that were impacting them, those three people, uh, any other card there uh, for the spirit of Hecate. I feel like they're doing everything in their power. Um, they also have people on the other side that have passed over, that are watching over them. Okay, I feel like these are religious uh, relatives um, that are guiding them now, ancestors. They're watching over them, uh, making sure that people that are not supposed to be in their life um, stay out of it. Okay, because I feel like this person was praying for God, source, spirit, the divine to come in, to step in and to show them what they needed, right? To put the fire underneath them, okay? And say, hey, this person could also be a fire sign or have fire in their chart. What, what is it that I need? What is going to spark my interest? What is going to uh, get me past the point of me saying, you know what? I never want to be in a relationship again, or I never want to deal with people anymore. I feel like um, they were praying for someone to come in that's going to spark that interest, once again, because I feel like they were saying, you know, I don't believe that I'll ever be in love again after whatever happened to them. And if that um, wasn't their energy that I'm feeling, that's your energy. You may have had a hard time thinking that, you know, with thinking that you're not going to meet someone that's worthy of, of loving or that can love you the way that you would like to be loved. OK, now this person may have a business. They may have things that they're working on. Um, to where they're very passionate about as well, very creative, uh, very uh, could be an artist of some nature. Like I said, could be a musician or could work in music in some dynamic, okay? Um, but this person is very focused on their future. Um, and this is a person that's going to come in and want a future with you, uh, Pisces. They're gonna say, you know what? I found my person, this is who it is. You know, this person also may be looking at um, tarot readings or may be into um, different things uh, uh, spiritual like that. Um, and this is also a person that has a healthy uh, community around them. So it could be a spiritual community. This person um, could could be um, a part of a spiritual tribe, okay, a part of a spiritual community that they interact with. Um, they may have trusted advisors that they deal with. Um, and when I say advisors, I'm talking about friends that um, they actually value their opinion um, and they like to, you know, speak things over with them. Or could be a hierarchy, could be people in their family that they go to and just talk over things with. Um, however, but I feel like this is a positive um, group or social group or companion um, um, energy for them. Okay, so they may speak about you or may speak about things in their life with this um, with this group. Okay. <clears throat> So for this person, Spirit is giving me Valentine's Day. That was when um, everything went left for them. Um, and I feel like on Valentine's Day for you, Pisces, you made a decision that you were no longer going to deal with someone that, that took you for granted. I feel like the energy coming through was on Valentine's Day, you like put your foot down and you said, you know what, no more. This person takes me for granted. I'm not going to deal with this anymore. And that's it. You know what I mean? 
Yep, look. So this person, um, whoever you were dealing with, um, the old person, um, I feel like <laughs> there was no romance. I feel like this person came in and they could have been on some old friendship or friend zoned you um, around Valentine's Day. Um, the person that's coming in for you, they made a decision that they were no longer going to be dealing with the person on Valentine's Day. Okay. Um, let's see what else. This person may be very close to their brother or their sister and may um, have them in their life to where they speak to them uh, about certain things. This person may be tattooed or may have piercings or, or this is you, Pisces. Mm -hmm. Look, thank you, Spirit, for coming through a spiritual connection. Okay, Spirit, the Spirit is sending you someone that you have uh, manifested. Right. You have manifested this person and this person has manifested you. They're going to be coming in. And this is like I said, it could be a fire sign coming towards you or someone with fire in their chart. Um, this is going to be very passionate for the both of you. You just don't want to move too fast. Uh, Pisces, you want to make sure that everything, like I said, checks those boxes that you have. Uh, for that energy that you are expecting from this person, okay? I know that you guys have expectations. Um, in the past, those expectations have not been met. Um, but Spirit is saying, you know what? Just stick to your discernment. Um, give this time, you know, really get to know this person. Front was backwards, upside down. And that may not take so long if you guys are spending, you know, a good amount of time together. But you just want to take your time. Don't be forced into anything. I was just speaking to someone the other day um, that told me that, and I hate to have this conversation, but I know I have to, but there's a Pisces out here that needs it. They felt like when, so this is a woman that I was speaking to, and she came to me and asked me, well, what do you do if someone wants to be intimate with you and they're pressuring you at that very moment and you don't want to do it? I said, well, I will let them know that I didn't want to do it. She says to me that she's not able to do that. And she always gives in out of pity, right? And then feels bad about it later on. So I got a Pisces out there because this, this is what came to me while I was reading this. I have a Pisces out there that feels like they may have intimate times with a person. And then that person... Um, is really not connected to them the way that they would like for them to be, or there's a disconnect, or there could be a ghosting, right? Spirit is saying it's okay for you guys to say, no, I'm not ready to do this. I don't feel like we have gotten to the point to where we have a, a good enough connection for us to connect um, intimately, and I would like to wait. And if this person when you do say that, Pisces, if they don't want to wait, then that's on them. They need to go. Say bye-bye. Say sayonara. Okay? So, Spirit wants you to know that that is okay. You are the person that's in control. No one else. Right? Don't allow anyone to pressure you into doing anything that you don't want to do. Even if you're saying, hey, I like this person. I just want to keep them. No. Like I said, what did I say? Thank you, Spirit. Okay? Right? No. Mm-mm. This is a person <laughs> that they're going to take their time with you. They're going to see you as an opportunity. And yes, they want to seize the moment. I'm talking about the new person, okay? They're going to seize the moment with you. They're going to want to jump in, but they're going to do it in a way to where they're being honest and direct, okay? This is a person that is going to be very decisive, and they could come to you and can say, you know what? We both are grown. It's okay. We, you know, we want to do this, this, and that. It's all right. You know, this is what adults do. No. You have the power to slow this down, Pisces. Okay? Listen, I do like you. I love the energy. I love spending time with you as well. But I do believe that we need to wait. You know, I would feel better if I wait. Or if I just, you know, don't do anything on an impulse or any type of rush. And yeah, you know, are you good with that? Or are you not? This is what's coming through. Okay. So in the past, you guys. So, so in other words, the universe is going to test you, Pisces. They're going to test you. 
and they're going to see if you're able to get past this hump or if you're going to do the same thing you always do, which is allowing someone um, to be closer to you that you than, than what you would like for them to be at the moment. Okay, so you're supposed to be choosing your energy, how you feel about it. That's Aquarius energy. Could uh, you guys could have that in there in in the um, excuse me in your chart, or it could have been an Aquarius that they did that to you in the past. I can't even talk right now. Wow. So in other words, still like with me getting tongue tied, you guys may not have even expressed to the person that did this to you how uncomfortable you were. You just just went with it. However, here we have Virgo energy with the Kermit. OK, Spirit so wants you to go within right now to get yourself together, get yourself in gear for this person that's coming towards you. Do a lot of self-reflection, do introspection, right? Make sure that you think about everything frontwards, backwards, upside down. Go into the pros of your relationships that you've had in your life and the cons in your relationships and your outcome of what you could have done differently or how you could have made those things better for you. Um, you know, and what you're going to be doing going forward that lets the universe know that you've learned whatever lesson they had for you and those lessons will not return to you. OK, so you just want to do that. Make sure that you're being patient with yourself. Um, you're being patient with the situation. You're not allowing anyone to rush you. Um, you're not being hasty in any way. And this is what it is. Thank you, spirit. All right. So we have transition. Right. So if you're controlling the outcome, you're controlling the pace as well. Right. Not only are you controlling the pace, you're not allowing anything to go past your boundaries. You're making sure that someone understands that you are, are in a contemplation mode, that you have been through a lot. Right. You're now in a different understanding of what it is that you want and what you should have going forward. This is you. Right. This is you with that Aquarius energy. You're now coming out of a time of being unclear or um, a little submissive to being more assertive, okay? You're doing things in a way that is absolute for you, is what you want, is how you want them, right? This is something that um, is going to give you great joy. It's going to give you great pride as well. Some of you may be doing things out of the ordinary. You may be taking trips. You may be going on vacation. Some of you could be going by yourself, right? You could be doing things that you wouldn't normally do. And this is what is bringing you clarity and freedom is really what it is um, that you've been seeking, right? On a different level, it's, it's causing you to feel like you are in the midst of change, that you're able to feel the changes going on in your life as well. And I feel like this is what um, will catapult you to your next relationship, okay? So this person is absolutely coming towards you, but they're going to come after you've went through uh, what I'm describing, okay? So you just like I said, you want to hold it. You want to make sure that you are doing things at your pace and your pace only, okay? Um, you want to make sure... With this defeat card, you want to make sure, because Five of Swords is here, you want to make sure that you're not self-sacrificing, you're not self-sabotaging like we was talking about earlier, and then that you're not doing anything um, to where you're feeling like someone is maybe bullying you or being aggressive or intimidating you into doing anything, okay? So this is your test from the universe, my loves. This is who is coming towards you as well, so you want to make sure Um uh, that uh, you you have your lesson cap on because you're also going to be going through this lesson when you meet this person. All right. So make sure that you're making the, the decisions that make sense to you. Um, if they don't make sense to anyone else, that's that's quite OK, because they're not for anyone else. They're just for you. OK, so this is what I have for you guys. I'm sending you the utmost love and light. OK. And uh, if anyone needs a personal reading, the information's in the box below, my loves. You guys take care.